So, hi, Gabby. It's nice to see you again. Now, Dr. Sharp. I know so far today, uh, the information I've been given so far of why we're here, we're at a state psychiatric hospital. And one of the reasons that you were brought here is that you were in a public setting. Um, there may The police may have thought that there was a public disturbance um, and there was a report that you may have thrown a cell phone against a bus window. Um, other than that, our work over the past six months um, has just been great with you. Uh, overall, at the beginning, you seemed very enthusiastic about joining your uh, medical school and becoming uh, as part of that role. Um, and some of the other things that we've talked about is kind of just like a um, finding it difficult to concentrate on the work that you have as uh, seems like a lot, especially with medical school. And um, so in terms of that, other than just like the concentration, one of the things we've also talked about is maybe like a um, not a, a lack of interest in pursuing that degree anymore. Um, so that's my current understanding of the case. And uh, in terms of what I'm here to do with you today is uh, seeing as you were brought here to the state psychiatric hospital, my role is to assess how you're doing um, and provide interventions, which can include um, calm, uh, to us talking, doing talk therapy, um, processing some emotions, uh, doing some body regulation of how we're feeling. And um, that is different than my assessment, which would just be focused on returning you back to getting home, you know, feeling safe and um, yeah, getting back to our, our day. How does that sound? Uh, I guess, I guess it sounds okay. Okay. Awesome. So part of our work today is uh, I'd love to just be uh, collaborative as possible. I, I want to make this a, a, a thing where me and you are working together. Um, so now that I've kind of shared like my understanding of how we got here, can you tell me more about how uh, we arrived here today? Well, to be honest, I don't really even know how I got here. I mean, when I threw that phone um, at the bus, like, that's not really me. And I don't know why I did that. Um, I think it's just, um, I think I I'm just feel like I'm going through a lot. And I think that, I don't know, maybe I just, I had a moment that I felt like, I don't know, where I feel like I reached my limit. Yeah, you, you you mentioned reaching your limit. Yeah, I just, you know, I feel like medical school, like I loved it, you know, in the beginning and, and um, it's just, it's so much work and, and, you know, I've been going at it for a while and I just feel like, I, like I'm losing steam. Like I just don't really have the motivation to keep going. I don't really feel like I don't I don't know if I feel like I want it I just I, don't, I just feel very like lost and confused so when you mention feeling lost and confused or kind of like losing that steam I imagine steam isn't coming out of your ears but maybe you could tell me more about what that feels like I think it, it feels like um it feels like I start to lack energy. Like I start to feel very like, um, I don't know if the word is like melancholy, but like, I just don't really want to do anything. I feel very just down. And, and I think that makes it hard for me to deal with stuff. Yeah. When you're talking about like feeling down, like how, how would you describe that emotionally? Just sad. You know, I guess like just a, like a general sadness about me. 
Yes. Can you tell yeah. me about that? Um, well, like I said, school, it's just, it's so overwhelming. And, you know, I feel like I used to, uh, at the very least, go out with my friends and, you know, I, it would help me, like, relieve stress. Um, But lately, I haven't really been doing that anymore. So I don't feel like I'm getting, like, the relaxation that I want. Yeah, as you're talking about school and just how overwhelming it can be, I, I'm noticing a, a difference in, in our initial kind of sessions where there was just an, a, a level of enthusiasm I was noticing. Um, but today, when you talk about school, it seems different. Can you help me understand that? Yeah, Um. so I think... I think the workload has been stressing me out so much and I, it almost feels like I'm not in my body. Like I'm watching myself from a third person perspective. Um, I can't concentrate at work and I don't know. I just, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't get any stress relief and I'm just constantly working and and even when I work, I can't concentrate and I don't feel like I'm doing my job right. And I just feel just I feel really lost and I, I don't know what to do. And I don't know how I got here and I don't know what to do to get out. I just I feel stuck and I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like. When you're overwhelmed. It feels like you're not sure what to do. I just, I feel like, I mean, before I would, um, you know, I'd call my parents and ask them for help, but um, I just, I don't really feel like talking about it with them anymore because there's just, you know, all they tell me is like, well, just keep pushing through because you have to make it to the end of medical school, you know, like, and you can't drop out. You just have to keep, you know, going and you have to go to work because how are you going to pay for medical school? And I feel like ugh, is it, I, there's no point in talking to them. So I don't know. Just doesn't feel like they support me. And I feel like, I don't know. I I feel like. I don't know. I feel like they don't, they're not going to understand. So I'm hearing when you felt overwhelmed about maybe some career path or, or school choices, and you've shared that, that it's been kind of discouraging. Um, They just keep pushing me to go to work and and keep going to school and I just I don't know if I even like I know I chose this but I I just don't know if this is really what I want to do anymore but I'm scared to say that um I don't want to be looked at like you know like a failure like a you know like I give up and and so I don't know if I should just just keep um just push push through like they say, or if I should just kind of follow with what my thoughts are telling me and and um I don't know. I don't even know if these thoughts are like temporary or maybe I'll regret it once I you know, if I drop out and I just I really I feel like I just feel like I need direction. Yeah, so when you're talking, I, I, I'm I'm noticing that it, it almost sounds like you're stuck. Sounds like you feel stuck. And if I can take a risk, I would like to say that we always have a choice in where we stay or don't stay uh, as far as our, our job or our occupation or education. It's it, it's um important to find out what's a good fit for us. 
how do I know what's the right choice? Like, how do I know if I make the right decision? What do you think is better? Do you think I should just keep going to school and just kind of push through these feelings? Or do you think that I should just, I mean, since it is causing me so much stress, do you think that I should just kind of drop out and, and do something else? Yeah, that seems like a really hard choice to have to make. I'm wondering what it feels like for you when you're faced with that choice. It's hard. Um, it's hard. Like, I, I, like I said, I usually go to my parents for help, but lately I, they're just, they're not agreeing with me. And I don't really like that. Like, I don't know. That's why I want to know, like, what, what do you think I should do? Cause I don't know. I don't feel like they're really helping me figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really, uh, hard decision to have to make for somebody i'm hearing as we're collaborating and we're getting closer to our some of our goals um i'm hearing that you are really wanting me to kind of give you an answer honestly yeah i feel like you know you're smart you have a degree and i feel like you probably know what's better for me and and you know like I said I might usually go to my parents but my parents aren't really agreeing with me and and honestly like my dad has always been the one to usually side with me so right now that he's not it's like I don't it's weird I don't like it and I just feel like I I I feel like you you would know what's best for me yeah so you talk about when not knowing what to do or feeling unsure. um, Sometimes a person you'll go to is your parents. Yeah, I I usually do more more my dad than my mom because he's he's usually more understanding than her. They're my safe person. He's my safe person that I can talk to. Safe. Is, and is it feeling safe? in that relationship I know he doesn't agree with me and I don't know that makes me really like he usually does I mean I guess growing up I never faced these kind of big decisions but um but yeah yeah so I'm noticing as you're talking kind of bringing to light like maybe a pattern of seeking consultation from somebody that feels like close and you can trust them when you're just feeling unsure yeah yeah I guess I do do that I guess I I guess I can't rely on other people to tell me what to do but I guess making decisions is just really hard for me hmm Well, in terms of if we could backtrack a little bit, um, were so in terms of like how we got here today, was was there you you mentioned feeling overwhelmed? Yeah, well, I guess because I don't know what I should do about this whole school thing, and I'm not getting support from my parents and I think I feel just so confused and and that day that I threw the phone at the bus like I was texting my dad and and telling him like dad like you know how stressed I've been you I've been telling you that I can't concentrate I've been telling you like I I'm not taking the time to go out with friends anymore because I just I feel so consumed with the worries of getting my work done and and I just felt like in that moment I wanted him to say like okay like then don't, you don't have to go to this school. Like, it's fine. But he didn't. He said the same thing that my mom does. Like, just keep going. And I guess I just felt like so, I felt so pissed off. Like, he he always has my back. And I just felt like, I don't know. It just made me so angry to think that this might have to be, like, what I do forever do for the next couple of years because it's not going to end anytime soon I'm just gonna have to keep going to school and I think just the thought of that is just it's too much for me
then the police brought me here. Yeah. So it sounds like um, when you're describing kind of like how your parents interact too, they, they're kind of on the same page a lot of the time. Usually, usually not. Usually my dad sides with me and my mom doesn't. But this time he sided with my mom and I felt like it was just new and it just like something so big that I feel like I'm struggling with. So I guess I felt like, I don't know, like you're supposed to have my back. Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned kind of what you almost hoped for as a response. Maybe your dad yeah. would have said, you don't have to go to that school. Yeah. But he did it. And oh, well. But do you think that, do you think that maybe you can just tell me what you think I should do? I'm hearing that you want me to help you figure out what we can do. Uh, I think part of our work together is going to be working together to help solve problems together. I think that's an awesome goal that we can have. And part of that is going to be me challenging you to help me figure out and help you and deal with currently uh when you're feeling overwhelmed. So maybe that's something we can focus on. Yeah, yes. I guess, I know, I know. I'm just honest, I'm a little irritated because I feel like no one is helping me, but I know that I have to make this decision myself. It's just, uh, I don't know, I'm annoyed. I want, I want someone to tell me what to do, I guess. Yeah, and you you mentioned having to make this decision by yourself. I'm I'm wondering what that feels like. Feels like I have the whole weight of the world on my shoulders. At least my world. I just feel so stressful, and I don't know how to make a big decision like this. I've always relied on my dad, or my parents usually, but my dad mainly, and and um. So I feel like this is really the first time I'm, I'm making a decision on my own and something so big. And I don't really, I don't know how to go about it. And I'm really worried I make the wrong decision. Yeah, I can hear that there's a lot of worry and a lot of that can be really overwhelming. And I'm wondering just like when, when you get to that overwhelmed place, what can we do to feel safe and secure and figure out a, a, a right response? I think we, about we talked reaching. about actually, we talked about a pattern of when we're not feeling sure or maybe we're feeling overwhelmed and you've reached out to your parents but sounds like that the response of not being kind of like on your side um almost made that overwhelmed feeling feel worse yeah i guess it makes me feel angry because it makes me feel like i don't have any support it makes me feel like i'm alone in this and i think that feeling of just like I'm responsible for whatever happens after I don't want that. I don't want that. That's too much. It feels like it's it's going to be my fault. Like if if I end up not going and I, I end up, I don't know, doing something else, like it's my fault. When you felt alone before, uh, like are there other times where maybe you've gone to your parents and felt a similar way? I mean, uh, with my mom, there's been times where, like, when I was a teenager and, and like, I decided to uh, drop out of a class because it was too hard for me, she would get really mad and say that, like, basically, like, I'm not up to it and, like, that I'm a failure, basically. And 
I mean, not her words, but that's how she made me feel. And it just made me feel horrible. And I don't want to feel that again. I don't want her to make me feel that again. Yeah, wait, can you tell me more about that feeling you were having? Um, I just, I guess it makes me feel bad about myself. Like, like I said, like I'm a failure, like I'm not good enough to make it through the school or I'm not strong enough or smart enough like the other people to actually, you know, do this and and I guess it makes me feel like low. Like it makes me feel like I'm just, I'm not enough. And I'm hearing that at times it can feel like your parents have some high expectations. Yeah, mainly my mom, like my dad usually, he, he usually will back her up with her expectations. Um, but usually when I talk to him and I tell him, how I'm really struggling or how I'm really feeling. He is usually the person to kind of like, um, kind of like give in and, and help me figure it out and, or, you know, help me get a way out of it. And I think this time, I mean, I guess because they, they're paying for my schooling, like I'm helping pay with my job, but they initially helped me. So I feel like they're also kind of saying like you know I invested in this so I have to see it through and I don't know maybe that's why he doesn't want to budge but um yeah they just my mom she always pressures me and and um my dad is usually my refuge so um you know that day that day that I threw the phone like you know, I was, I was so frustrated because just the day before I was having the conversation with my parents about like telling them how stressed I am. And my mom, she just didn't want to listen. She just kept saying that, like, you know, you, you, you started this, now you have to finish it. This is a big deal. Um, how are you going to go to school for like half a year and then just quit? You haven't even really tried and blah, blah, blah. And I, it was like, I left, I left the house just to go out for a walk and I just I I couldn't even calm down I was so angry and so the next day like I thought like okay maybe okay now that things have cooled down a little maybe I can talk to my just my dad and and see how he feels and I was texting him about it and he still didn't agree with me so I just I feel like I felt like I blew up like I can't take this like they won't they won't like just let me get out of the school and it's like I don't know I don't know how to I don't know what to do yeah as I'm listening to you talk about expectations and ones that have been placed on you I'm, I'm wondering if in our session today you feel uh, that I have any expectations of you I feel I feel like when I tell you stuff, like, I feel like you're listening to me, but part of me feels like you secretly kind of also think I should go to this school. I mean, I keep asking you what I should do and you don't want to help me either. So I, that's why I feel like, like kind of annoyed. Like, I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't feel like I have your support either. And I don't, I don't know if, if that's because you you agree with my mom or you you know you're agreeing like with my dad and in the I should stay. Um, I don't know. I do feel a little bit like maybe I don't. I I just feel like you don't you don't agree with me either. So, and I feel like you're the one person that's supposed to agree with me. You're supposed to support me, and I feel like you're not. Yes, I'm here. I, I as I was listening, I, I I heard the word annoyed used, uh, and I want to stick with that feeling. If if you'd be open to that, um, I because as part of our work, I want to be on the same page too. I want to feel like we're collaborating and. Part of that is um, 
setting expectations for our work together and and also just maybe we could explore kind of first of all i mean as your therapist i don't care whether you go to that school or not what i'm worried about is working with you on finding a good fit for gabby and so in terms of like finding a good fit for you in terms of where you are right now do you, th you think we could focus on that as a goal for our treatment together I mean I know I know like I know you're not maybe you're not judging me maybe I just feel like that because you know you're also kind of a safe space to me so I don't know I guess because you're not giving me that I shouldn't go I feel a little bit like kind of like kind of like my dad like you're just not you're just not agreeing with me and it makes me feel like I'm not supported but I know that this is a decision I have to make on my own and uh, I know I'm I'm willing to work on that because I don't want to have to rely on anyone you know to make my my own choices yeah so we today we've talked about quite a few things one of them being kind of the expectations that we've had others place on us we talked about some potential thoughts about expectations that you felt that i had of you and i wanted to potentially explore next like so what are your expectations for gabby you're in a you're a medical student at a local university talked about feeling very overwhelmed and questioning kind of this is a good fit for you and we talked about expectations but i'm curious about what gabby's expectations are not anybody else's yeah um i think for me i just i i just i want to live a life that i'm not so stressed and overwhelmed and overworked and I I want to feel like my life is is my choice I feel like I'm always listening to my parents and I want it to be me and I feel like I don't know I, I have second thoughts about this medical school because I don't want to work all the hours or be on call and I don't know if I like if this is even a career I want I've always also thought about just like being a kindergarten teacher and that sounds like so much more fun to me and but I felt like you know to make my parents proud I went to this medical school but like when I think about like what I want like I want to feel like free to express myself and I want to feel like I don't have anyone like over my shoulder all the time and yeah I think that feeling of just freedom and and control over my own life I would really love that yeah so I'm hearing that some of the things we want as part of our treatment together is more increased sense of freedom and and choice in uh, what Gabby gets to do is that right yeah yeah exactly okay well in our last five to six minutes together uh, I was hoping we could continue talking about some of our treatment goals uh, so in terms of like exploring how to feel free and and what gabby wants um one of the questions i had was seeing as we're here and we've talked about some of the things that brought us here and, and feeling overwhelmed and having expectations um so let's say you woke up tomorrow and woke up and you didn't have any of the problems that you have today. And a magic thing happened and all the problems were gone. How would you know? I think I would know because I would wake up and I could um no have a relaxing morning go get a coffee you know show up to my job which I would hope is something fun and 
and something that I, I love doing and I'm excited to do. And and then I'd go home to my, you know, my apartment and I would feel just happy. And I, I feel like I would um I think just knowing that what whatever I end up doing, it'll be because of my hard work and my my choices and and I I didn't need help from anyone to get where I am. I could do it on my own. Awesome. That sounds great. Yeah. So another potential goal for us that I'm hearing is just feeling more confident in our choices. Actually, yeah, I guess a lot of the reasons why I turn to my parents is because I'm scared of making the wrong choice. But like, I guess like, I don't know, I guess when I really think about it, like, is there even a wrong or a right choice? I mean, it, when it comes to my life, you know, it's. I think it's just more about what I want, you know, so maybe I don't know, maybe I should start thinking about it like that or something. Yeah, well, in terms of a, a, a right fit for Gabby, I think one, some of the things you you were mentioning was um, that it was your choice. It, it brought you enjoyment or maybe your work was like fun intrinsically fun for you um but yeah I mean in terms of anything else like towards career what what would be a good fit for Gabby stress-free I don't want something with a lot of demands placed on me I don't do well with that and uh you know sometimes it's hard for me to calm my thoughts down it starts to feel like just a bunch of noise like just too many thoughts and and that's what makes me so worked up. And, and that's why I have like outbursts like the other day. Um, so something where I can, something that doesn't have too many demands on me. And um, and probably just something that where I can, you know, calm my thoughts down and have time to calm my thoughts down. Right. That's the hard part too is, is, basically in any sphere we go in there 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 could potentially be demands placed how how does that feel um i'm okay with demands um you know i'm i'm okay with like meeting expectations uh for a job i just think that like well, when it starts to feel like it piles up it's hard for me to relax and it's hard for me to kind of you know, take a moment to breathe, I guess. And, and, uh, you know, with medical school, it's just, it's so much work. And then, you know, once you start working, it's like you're on call. It's like, it's like, you don't get any breaks. And I feel like with any other job, you work your hours and then you get to go home and enjoy your day. And that sounds like so much more appealing to me because at least I can make time for myself to go out with my friends again and, and relax. So I'm hearing a flexible work schedule and also kind of just another goal for our treatment could just be what can I do when I'm feeling overwhelmed? Yeah. Yeah. I think cause um, I think managing these next few weeks, I'm going to probably try to sit with these thoughts and maybe um really maybe do a pros and cons list and see if I really want to do this medical school or not. I, honestly, I don't really feel like I do, but you know, just give it an extra thought. And, and I think that, you know, having to face my parents is going to be hard. So I think, you know, being able to calm my emotions is something that will probably be really good for me for when I do that. Yes. And don't worry about having to do that on your own. A lot of the things that I do as a clinical psychologist is we just talk about pros and cons, or we're talking about what if I did this? What if I didn't do it? And seeing what the right fit for Gabby is. And so sounds like we've established some goals for our treatment and in terms of going home today, sounds like you can go home today. So thank you so much for uh, participating with me and, and collaborating with me on the goals that we have. And um, would you like to see me again? I'll okay, see you awesome. same time. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, Gabby. All right. Bye, Dr. Sharp.